So nobody wants to surrender. But if he sees that there is a greater personality than him, he surrenders. That is nature. So this panipat word means that you should not go for understanding Bhagavad Gita and Bhagavad to a storekeeper. You should go to a person where you can surrender. Tadviddhi panipatya. And pariprasnena, an inquiry. And sevaya. You should not take, you should not inquire gratis. You must give service. Just like why if you purchase something, you must pay for it. Therefore it is called sevaya. You cannot pay by returning the value which is taught by the spiritual master. That is not possible. Therefore it is called seva. Dedicate your life for his service. You cannot pay. What you have got to pay? to a spiritual master. Uh, just like our king Prithu Maharaj, when uh, the Kumaras preached him about transcendental knowledge, uh, he very humbly submitted, My dear uh, spiritual master, he has taught me so nice, I require to give you some dakhina. Dakhina, that is required. After initiation, one should pay Dakhina. There is a system. I should pay Dakhina, but what shall I pay? I haven't got anything as my personal possession. It is already by the mercy of the brāhmaṇas that I am enjoying this kingdom. So uh, it is already belonging to you, my kingdom. It is already belonging to you. That was the system. He, any saintly person, brahmana, will ask from a Kshatriya king. He cannot deny. A karna, he gave his son to be sacrificed. A brahman asked that I want your son to be sacrificed by you. He was incarnation of God. He tested Karna's charity. He was very charitable. She asked him that I want your son and you shall sacrifice, you both husband and wife. Uh, he agreed, Karna, yes, I do that. Uh, so there are some tests like that. So actually, formally, the kings, they possess their kingdom just to manage, not thinking, oh, it is my property, I am the king. Huh? As soon as the king's thought like that, the monarchy finished. Huh? The king never thought like that. He thought himself as appointed agent of God, huh? king. So he never thought. So Prithu Maharaj said that nothing belongs to me, and even if I can pay from my treasury, so I cannot actually pay for the benefit I have derived from me. Therefore, the only way I can pay that I surrender unto you. You can utilize me in any way. So, tad viddhi pranipāte na paripraśne na sevaya. Therefore the uh, disciple's duty is to be ready, all us, to serve the spiritual master at any cost. Uh, that is disciple's duty. Sevaya upadakshanti tad jñānam jñānina tat darśina. Uh, so real knowledge can be uh, achieved in this process. Not that I can challenge, oh, I can know, I have got so much education and degrees. I can understand what is God. Uh, or there is no need of God. I am God. We are the controller. So these are all eskaldam. Uh, real thing is, uh, 
tadviddhi panipatena paripasne as a parikit maharaj, the emperor of the world, he is hearing from Sukhdev Goswami, you have seen that picture in our uh, Bhagavat newly published, uh, how Parikit Maharaj humbly asking and sitting before Sukhdev Goswami. Uh, so, Bhagavata Pradhana, uh, Bhagavata Pradhana. Hmm. So, Sukhdev Goswami is the chief Bhagavata. Uh, Bhagavata, there are two kinds of Bhagavata, Grantha Bhagavatam and this uh, person Bhagavatam. Hmm. So, uh, Sukhdev Goswami was person Bhagavatam, Bhagavatam, chief Bhagavata Pradhana. Uh, Bhagavata Pradhana, uh, <coughs> uh, Realize so. We should not hear Bhagavatam from a professional man uh, who are observing the Bhagavat Saptaha. I know in Bombay there is a big uh, speaker of Bhagavatam. He preaches uh, that you who remain in your family life very peacefully, this is the instruction of Bhagavad. He never teaches that you have to give up this nonsense family life, you have got to you have to go back to home, back to God. He never preaches. There are so many examples, he comes to the conclusion. Then you live peacefully. As if to live peacefully in this material world is the highest achievement of life. Uh, then they will never disclose the actual fact that nobody can live in this world peacefully. It is not possible at all. But they want money. Uh, so they will flatter or they will go to Krishna's Rasrila. Uh, presenting Krishna as ordinary uh, human being and the gopis as ordinary girls. So this is very palatable for us, kissing, embracing young girls. So Krishna is doing that they take it, take it that their embracing and kissing is supported by Krishna. This is going on. That is a different subject matter, they do not know that. Therefore, the Krishna's dealing with the gopis have been described in the middle of tenth canto. And nine cantos have been devoted, described, so that one may understand what is Krishna. What is Krishna? The beginning and the Srimad Bhagavatam, Om Namo Bhagavati Vasudevaya, begins, Janma Adhasya Jataha. What is this Vasudev Krishna? Janma Adhasya Jataha is the origin of everything. And if we take Krishna as ordinary person and he's dancing with the gopi, just like ordinary thing, then what Bhagavatam? He will understand. He will go to hell. He is deriding, taking Krishna uh, very 